Hello everyone, welcome to Lockbeard Phenomenon number 60, Labor Day 2022. It is September 3rd, 2022. Welcome, I see Tom Cruise is here first. Good to see Scientology is well represented. Um, despite what Mr. Lee 3PO says, Tom Cruise uh, acts in a lot of good movies. Uh, no matter how nutty he is, Mr. Lee says Tom Cruise is a douchebag. <laughs> see uh gary is here angel is here welcome mr lee says uh i'm watching owen's rocky mountain bushcraft on the big screen while i wait for Lockbeard. <laughs> awesome gary says yep it's our go to the rescue oh here we go yes but with a twist that's all, all i want to tell oh you're fine, mr lee Mr. Lee, Gary Argo is Sasquatch, you see. Hmm. Um, Mr. Lee says, Lockbreed, you must educate me on Labor Day. No idea. Um, the only thing you really need to know, Mr. Lee, is that Americans will find any excuse to celebrate some, some something. Um, Labor Day is about celebrating, you know, the labor movement and you know, it, it, it might it might as well it might as well say uh, uh, it might as well say uh, it might as well be willing slave day or some shit like that. You know, because might as well be. You know, despite you know all the allow you know the uh, regulations and stuff that protect the workers, and <clears throat> you still get screwed in the end. You really do. You know, and it's and it, and because the the there you know whatever company you're working for, that company works for a bigger company called the United States government, which is a big corrupt domestic terrorist organization. They are the mafia that happens to be in charge of all the other mafias, um, and they get to call themselves the legit government because they control everything. But really, they're not the legit government. They haven't been the legit government for a long time. At the latest. At the very latest in history of the United States, the federal government stopped being the legit government at the beginning of the Civil War. The moment the federal government opened fire on American citizens and denied states the rights to, to, to separate from the Union because they are sovereign nations. They're sovereign nations. And people in America need to remember that. Your state is your nation, not the United States not the United States, but they've twisted everything. They've twisted everything and made you think your nation is the United States. They came up with this Pledge of Allegiance where you, you know, pledge yourself to servitude to the federal government. It's not supposed to be that way. That pledge is made by like a socialist and shit, man. That's, there's nothing American about the Pledge of Allegiance, but a whole bunch of people who are very patriotic seem to think it's this, this horribly great, this great American thing. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. It's actually anti-American. You 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 think you think that when someone says something like that, that they're being anti-American, but no, they're actually being far more American than you are. Look into it. Look into it. But um, but uh, yeah, we are occupied by an illegitimate government period. The legitimate government of a free nation is not the government that killed 600,000 Americans fighting a war against us, half of us, to force us to stay in the Union. Does that sound like fucking freedom? No, it's not fucking freedom. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah. And they let, they let you be just free enough around here to keep you from revolting while just, just slowly tightening their squeeze on you all the time. And people just get it used to it. And they'll squeeze a little bit every so often, like with the, the with the with the fake virus of 2020 restrictions, and then they let off. And then they'll something else come along and they'll squeeze a little more. And they'll squeeze a little more. The gas prices this summer, they squeeze a little bit and they're letting off a little bit, but they won't let off as far as they did before. And it gets you used to not being able to fucking breathe. <sighs> Yeah, fuck Liberty. <laughs> I hate holidays in general anyway. <clears throat> um, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what she does. You, you probably have like a labor party over there, Mr. Lee. Um, like a, a straight up labor party. I think you do. I think you do over there. Sandra Piper's here. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> Gary says it was PTSD that I went through by myself and I solved it all by myself. Good thing. Yeah, Gary's um I think he might be confused himself, Mr. Lee. Uh Brian and Chewy go hiking. Says hello folks just listening, walking Chewy. Hello, Locker. Welcome, Brian and Chewy. Um Oh, this chat's just Just jumping around. All right. Well, at least I caught up to the, where we started here. Um, yep, Mr. Lee. Yep. Bat Mom, welcome. Kicking button, taking names. Yeah. Donald's here. Welcome. He says, hey, folks. Lockbeard, I have a PPV. I'm watching only here for a minute. I'll watch it later. That's cool, man. Donald says, you knuckle, or Mr. Lee says, Donald, you knucklehead. Blah, 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 says Batman. Mr. Lee says, I still don't get it, man. Just saying, you know, workers' rights and stuff like that. Look look up, uh, like, the American uh, labor movement. And, you know, it's basically it. There was never meant to be world man government. There was never meant to be world man government. <clears throat> Says Batman. I'm not sure exactly. Exactly. Uh, I guess you're. I guess you put man in there by accident. World government. Well. That's what we all think, that mom. But that's been their goal the whole time. And I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if world government hasn't existed for a long time, but they keep it secret and then act like all these governments are separate and fighting each other. And they're really just playing, playing the role to make us think that there's not a world government truly controlling things. Yeah, Labor Party. Yeah, Mr. Lee, Labor Party. Donald says, see you folks later. See ya. Driving, sorry, says Batman. Mr. Lee says, Donald Trump works hard enough. Plenty of money. Yeah, he's got plenty of money. But see, you know, humans, you know, throughout most of our history, our evolutionary time, which is really prehistory, millions of years you had to have a strong drive to acquire things you need to survive resources well well nowadays outside of we've taken ourselves outside of nature and and so that drive to acquire resources is still there and it doesn't have an off switch it because in nature there was never really a need to have an off switch where Somebody just had too much because you're pretty much always just barely getting by. So you needed a real strong drive to acquire resources. And and you never really needed an off switch to that. Well, now you can acquire unlimited resources. It's completely unnatural situation. So that drive, just some people, they just keep acquiring and keep acquiring and they won't stop. And they're willing to sell out anybody and step on anybody to acquire like Donald Trump. That's the only way you get that rich. If he was really a nice guy, he would, uh, you know, be making sure that nobody was struggling in America and he could probably almost single-handedly make sure of that. You know, uh, pay, pay for like a universal basic income straight out of his own fucking pocket. And it wouldn't even bother him at all. 
Jen's here. Welcome. That mom says, yeah, man has created it from the begun. Beginning, I assume. Jen says, hi, Locke. It's Lee, that mom, Sandra, Brian, and Chewy. Donald says, bye, Mr. Lee, you pecker neck. Yeah. Mr. Lee, what was this video you sent me from Scott Carpenter? <laughs> Oh. Eh. Tom Cruise needs to keep you in line. Cletus McFarland paid for. Oh, shit. This release is Donald Trump and his golf course. Oh, my God. I hate golf. Yeah, I don't like golf either. You know, it's. It... Well. The amount, of, the amount of our taxpayer dollars and resources that went into protecting him and shit when he was down there. And, uh, of course, the, 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 the Mar-a-Lago and all that shit. Like, I mean, money's made, you know. If the president's staying somewhere, that somewhere makes money. And Donald Trump owned that somewhere. So it's a conflict of interest. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's just one of many, many things that should be a red flag to people. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is why you don't need like. I mean, you know, he was never going to be able to say like to me. You know, I mean, I don't have a Mar-a-Lago, so I can't uh, necessarily understand his perspective perhaps to me if i was elected president the way i am now i just park the fucking van somewhere in the white house's expansive garage <laughs> and i don't have any reason to go down to any kind of fucking mar-a-lago or anything i just need to stay there and like do my fucking job um I uh, I feel like doing the job of president kind of requires you to be at the White House, not at Mar-a-Lago or anywhere else. And what? How's a fucking president have time for vacation? If I was elected, I'd be like, I don't, I'm not taking any goddamn vacations. But these presidents are taking vacations constantly, constantly, and this is on the taxpayer dime. You know, like to me, you become president, you, there's no vacation taking. I'll take a vacation when I'm out of office because you're on call 24 seven as president. You, 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 you're never, you're never off duty. You, you know, you got to sleep and stuff, but, um, and Donald Trump's one of those people that sleeps five hours a night, like I typically do. This is good, you know. Don't you know? Don't need to sleep eight hours. Fuck that. It's a waste of time. <clears throat> so you know, but we're never gonna get someone like that, right? We're never gonna get someone like that who recognizes that this is this is a duty. This is an honor. You know, you're not there to play around and and go flying over the fucking place and. Uh, um, yeah. Jen says, Locke, do you like the idea of universal income? Well, technically that's theft. I'm just saying Don Donald Trump could probably pay everyone a, a few grand and, you know, give them a little boost or something. But no, you can't do universal basic income because that's stealing from another citizen, right? It's not. It's not, uh, it's not, it's just an American. It's an American. Socialist. Downright communist. Um, 
Mr. Lee says, uh, Lockbeard, it's real Sasquatch. Scott, Scott Carpenter has it nailed, dude. Are you sure? Uh, look, okay. Mr. Lee, are you are you sure about you know, look, look at this shit? Y'all y'all look at this shit. The effects of the ultrasound were that I literally forgot I filmed this video and didn't see it until I got back home when I was reviewing it and saw it. I did had no memory of this video whatsoever. I forgot I filmed this video and all right. He said he says he forgot he filmed this video. He expects me to believe that this Sasquatch hiding in the bushes here created infrasound, which caused him to completely forget that he made this video. This isn't an extraordinary claim, and it requires extraordinary evidence. Prove to me without forget the Sasquatch phenomena. Is there a lab somewhere? Has there been some experiments done where they've been able to prove that infrasound can make a person completely forget, like being somewhere or doing something or whatever? Because he clearly filmed he filmed this, you know. So it, is this bullshit? For sound, uh, blasted at me by Sasquatch. And the effects of the infrasound were that I literally forgot I filmed this video and didn't see it until I got back home when I was reviewing it and saw it. I did had no memory of this video whatsoever. So <clears throat> the Sasquatch used infrasound to basically blanked my memory out and caused me just to turn and walk away. And I was fortunate enough, uh, the camera I was using had a sensitive enough microphone that uh, I was able to uh, find uh, using some uh, uh, audio software, I was able to pick up the infrasound and uh, saw the, I saw the Sasquatch. Uh, and and uh, these are uh, these is mouth here, and that's with the left eye. And so I'm just going to kind of step through this guy. So, if you, so you can see, I, I'm starting to zoom in here, and you can see him right here. Now that right there is not his nose hole. That is a green leaf that's blocking his nose. As I zoom in, now here is one of the really freaky pictures. You can see when I get here, the mouth is in a in a sneer, and you can see. Look at that; the eye becomes right there's the eye and the left cheek, and the eye becomes. He's not. He's not very happy. He is not. Happy. Uh, here's in front of his chest. It's dark, you know, shadows, but then you can see the mouth continue to open. Now, right here's a good one as far as the teeth and the detail. See his left cheek and his mouth's opening there, and he's producing infrasound as he's doing whatever he's doing with his mouth. Now I jumped around, sorry about that. But this one right here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I mean, if that's real footage, that's pretty fucking crazy right there. But, man, I don't know, Mr. Lee. I think I'm going to need more. I think I'm going to need more. 
Um, <clears throat> Collected all our claims. Don't you know it would cut, go to your hips? What the hell are you talking about, man? Um, Mr. Lee says Donald Trump is a speed freak. Just saying, folks, you, I can recognize just saying people. Yeah, well, you know, he probably is. Jen says, when the president didn't Trump donate all the pay, it wasn't talked about much, but I think it happened. Maybe wrong, but I think I heard that. Okay. Well, Jen, it was actually talked about quite a bit. People would bring, because I was criticizing Trump, and people were bringing it up to me that he was leaving a penny on the sidewalk. Because that, that's what he's doing. He's leaving a penny on the sidewalk, and the benefit of leaving that penny on the sidewalk is he's getting $100 over here. See, people don't aren't, they're not thinking this through. They're, all they hear is, oh, Donald Trump didn't take the, the measly little 400 grand or whatever it is now, it's nothing to Trump. He's a multi-billionaire, and he made tons of money because he was president. There, you know, this, the whole Mar-a-Lago thing. Every time er, the president's staying down there, that means a bunch of money's getting sunk into that place. He made that money elsewhere, times a hundred, possibly a thousand. I don't know the exact figures, but he did that because he knew a lot of people would. But here would hear, oh, Trump, he was great. He did it for free. He made this great sacrifice for America. No, he didn't. No, -uh, no way. He left a penny on a sidewalk and got a hundred dollars over here. It it was a it's it's part of that whole scheme. He's it's part of it's just everyone should see this that this is part of the bullshit scam he's pulling on everybody. I don't like either party. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not trying to criticize one, just one side. I hate both. They work together. The Democrat and Republican leadership, they are working together. They're not separate. They just act like they're separate to convince the American people that there's this, this fight for them. And there, there isn't. It's classic divide and conquer technique. And Trump is definitely in on it. And he's playing, he's acting it just fine because people are starting to lose because people are starting to talk like me, right? They're like, oh, shit, we can't trust either party. So the Republican parties had, had to come up with a savior, someone that they could say, oh, he's an outsider. He's a loose cannon, all this bullshit. They knew that's what they needed. And so they gave us what we they they thought we wanted, except I see right through that shit. And a lot of other people are seeing right through that shit. So. So don't let that don't let that fool you right there. He 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 did that. It, it was a tactic. And he didn't lose shit. He didn't lose shit. One, even if he did giving up the measly 400 grand is nothing, nothing to give up for a multi-billionaire. Your average American who's not even making a tenth of that, 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 that presidential wage, they hear that number, they're like, oh my gosh, he gave up so much money. You gotta think like a, if you're a multi-billionaire. It may be hard to put yourself in the shoes of a multi-billionaire. Giving up 400 grand is nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. He didn't give up shit, and he scammed tons of Republicans with that. Tons of Republicans. Angel says, "Jen, he, I think he did. He may have had to take one dollar for legalities." Mister uh, Lee says, "Lock beer. Look at the Sasquatch teeth, man. Same as ours." Okay, here's the deal about that, Mr. Lee. Um, based on the Patty footage alone, because I'm pretty sure Patty footage is legit. Could be wrong. And if I throw in the descriptions given by uh, 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 people like Joe Satch and Jay Fritz, who, who give what I think are legit accounts, Describing this thing is basically a big hairy man. It's an upright, hairy looking, hairy being that looks like a human with, with hair, right? Morphologically, based on all those in the in the Patty film, with that kind of morphology, I could predict that these have human teeth because, like I've told you, if they're real, these are definitely Homo sapiens. Like, if they're not homo sapiens, I will be extremely surprised. 
they'll be a subspecies, right? They'll be like a separate race. You know, we have a few races, but our races are 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 are, are not. I I would I would guess not as distantly related as we are from the Sasquatch people. But um, that those teeth, not a surprise to me, not a surprise at all. Not with all the other morphological characteristics. Those are the exact teeth that it should have. But the question is, is that he faked this shit? Is it real? Jen says, yeah, Angel thought that happened. And Sasquatch, or Squash Talk says, behold, Bigfoot. <laughs> um, you think this is, do you think this is a real Pat? Uh, Angel says, Mr. Lee says, or light and shadows. Or light and shadows. Or he faked it. Well, again, do we trust Scott Carpenter, though? Like, if the fingernails dug into that branch, um, like, wrap some saran wrap around that branch and saw it off and take it to, to someone, to the appropriate scientist to analyze and see what you can find. If he dug his fingernails in that branch, there might be some genetic material left there. Chessboard's here saying hello to everybody. Welcome. Just where it's such a pretty world today. Look at the sunshine. Says hello, Brian Chewy. Teeth like Sasquatch has teeth like me. Says Mr. Lee. Yes, Sasquatch. If 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 that if that creature if that person in the PG film is is a real is really a Sasquatch, then that then they definitely because those morphological characteristics are most. Oh, most certainly human there is no way that thing is uh is more closely related to chimpanzee than us and it certainly isn't coming from another line of the great apes there is nothing in the fossil record to indicate that anything else evolved along the lines to develop this kind of morphology that we see in the pg film therefore that thing is something extremely close to homo sapiens extremely close and probably like i would almost say 99 percent certainty it's homo sapiens but you know without actual proof i can't say that for but but based on the morphological characteristics that i'm seeing and the description from people that seem like credible witnesses and also based on the fact that this thing is smart enough to to stay uh, uh, hidden from us for the most part. And, and that's, that's no small amount of intellect that's required for that. Um, that, 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 I mean, we're humans. We can like, you know, we'll have a manhunt every so often. There'll be a criminal on loose and sometimes he'll, he'll evade the cops for a while, but he'll eventually get caught. Humans make mistakes. We got humans that do stupid, stupid shit all the time. And it based with Sasquatch's track record at this point, he's doing they, that race, is doing way better than ours when it comes to to to, to staying hidden. Even though they're seeing sometimes stuff like that, they aren't getting caught. At least, not that we're being told. So their their intellect is 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 on par or possibly superior to ours. And, you know, so, yeah, yeah, it definitely, it, it definitely is going to have teeth just like us. They're very, very similar to ours. They're probably going to be more robust. They're going to be bigger and stuff like that, but they're going to be very similar to us. Um, extremely unlikely to have very well uh, large and large canines like a chimpanzee would. Um, they, the Sasquatch are morphologically way closer to human than chimpanzee. So close that they've got to have the diminished canines just as we do. Um, Squatch Talk says, oh God, comment about Trump or Sasquatch. <laughs> well, people are, <clears throat> people are kind of on both things. So hopefully we can get off of Trump, I guess. 
Angel says, two wings of the same bird. Yes, it is. Mr. Lee says, I pay good money for my teeth every three months. Just saying, Sasquatch teeth, perfect. <laughs> well, Mr. Lee, I mean, you haven't been keto all your life, though, right? Um, if you had been, if you had been eating carnivore your entire life, you probably would have a lot better teeth. And I'd almost bet that Sasquatch has been eating uh nearly entirely carnivorously their whole life and they're living in the wild so they're going to have far healthier teeth see people try to point to oh people back in the day had horrible teeth yeah you're talking about post agricultural revolution after that people started eating a bunch of shit that was poisonous to them and nutritionally deficient it, you know some of the plants that you're eating are actually prevent you from absorbing some of your nutrients from the meat that you're eating which is what you're supposed to eat humans are obligate hyper carnivore period that means that we have to eat meat and we need to eat it like almost entirely like it, it so, so to such an extent it's like beyond polar bear it's like beyond grizzly and polar bear where we can completely omit anything from a plant at all and eat nothing but meat for our entire life and have complete nutrition complete nutrition and um i think since sasquatch being the same species as us they're probably almost certainly uh in the same boat where yes they may occasionally eat fruit and stuff like that but for the most part they're eating meat and uh of course we're getting off a little on a tangent there but the point is is that if you're having problems with your teeth, it's because of the, uh, of the, the, poor, the, the bad dietary issues from earlier in your life before you turn to keto. And it, there may still be some stuff in your diet. I, well, it's, it's, it's absolute fact. It's certain. On keto, you're still eating things that are poisonous and are diminishing your optimal health. Um, in a wide variety of areas to some extent maybe very subtle maybe not enough for you to notice but it's there so true one dollar jen says that's if bigfoot has some amazing clean and straight teeth yeah that comment was before the video pat <laughs> pat says all presidents give up their salary is what it is Sports says, video you're showing is definitely not real. <laughs> Pat ain't buying it, Mr. Lee. Lockbeard says, Pat, uh, Mr. Lee says, Lockbeard, I think it's a real Sasquatch. Just saying, man. I don't know, man. I need something. <sighs> this isn't good enough. It, it just isn't. You know, he could be faking it. He could have faked this. He, I, I don't know how, you know, I'm not going to spend the time or. It's probably going to take some money to investigate that video and try to figure out how it was made. Um, perhaps he's got someone in the bushes, you know, and he just makes sure that it's not, it's unclear enough that you can't tell, you know. And even if it was, even if it was someone with adequate makeup and, and you know, a mask of some kind, you're probably not going to be able to determine whether it's Sasquatch or not. So I don't think we should get excited about any video that isn't like that. It's got it's got to be so good that you can't deny that that is not a human, a normal human. That it's Sasquatch. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But but really, we need to be demanding. Look, if you're having all these Sasquatch experiences. Where's the, where's the, uh, where's the evidence? You ought to be able to find some evidence. Like he's got fingernails dug into a branch, right? Well, did he leave that out there? Did he leave that branch out there? Cause I'm getting out my little, my little field saw and sawing that son of a bitch off. You know, I'm wrapping it in plastic and, and, uh, well, really you should wrap it in paper, but, um, wrap it in something to try and protect it from contamination and uh i bet he didn't <laughs> pat says oh god scott carpenter get the f 
fuck out look <laughs> well I, I look i wouldn't plan on mr lee sent me this video because he was kind of excited about the about this because it shows those teeth and No, 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 no. Uh, Gary, you got this wrong. You got to do it right. You got to say Sasquatch sure has a pretty mouth. Mr. Lee says Mr. Pat Scott Carpenter has good evidence, dude. Does he now? Are you sure? Mr. Lee says Pat Scott Carpenter has many evidence of cryptids. Um, this chat is skipping around on me. Squatch Talk says, what the fuck is a dog man? Who brought up dog man? Oh, Mr. Lee brought up dog man. <laughs> there ain't no dog man, Mr. Lee. Uh, Mr. Pat says, or Mr. Lee says to Pat, it is a dog that looks like a man in England. You can call it werewolf. Well, there's no proof that those are real. There's certainly nothing in the fossil record to indicate anything remotely like that um, developing. Is their vocabulary limited with all the F-bombs? Well, uh, you know. Mr. Lee says, girlfriend, dinner tonight. Absolutely disgusting, just saying. Mr. Lee, you need to, you need to uh, get her trained, man. <laughs> Squatch Talk says, easy to fake mr lee says i bought uh gary said does pat look at its mouth Let's see what you think Well, I mean, it could be faked, though, Gary. There's, it's not really evidence. It's not. It's definitely not conclusive, unless you can show that there is actual physical evidence, some genet, really some genetic material that can be tested and shown to be something unknown, something that's definitely hominid, but. An unknown hominid. Mr. Lee says, Lockbeard, yeah, the fingernail stuff, I don't know, man. Um, Pat says, what I know is Scott Carpenter is full of shit until he drags a baby to my house. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, damn. Shots fired. <laughs> a body. Drops a body. I don't know why I saw a baby there. Drops a body to my house. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Lee, don't get excited about this video. It's, it's, uh, it's not, it's nothing. It's nothing. Just for just uh, Pat, you need to wash your mouth out with soap. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Mr. Lee says, Mr. Pat, calm down, dude. Let's see if we can look at a little bit more. Where did he start talking about? Let's see here. And then this is this is the uh, this is uh, the same thing where it was went back later. Or earlier, earlier. It's, it's actually, actually from, from earlier, earlier. wasn't as when much foliage, foliage. About, about 20, 20 days, 20 days earlier. earlier. That don't look uh, good. Da, 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 and all this stuff, I tried to, that <laughs> was me, my I attempt at art when I was first, first started, started out. out. Let's see. Here's another one I did real quick. Yeah, 
You can see how quick it it, it went. I don't know back this up. Just let me try to. <laughs> that was no neat. Compared to side by side days later, but it didn't, look like it, was, it didn't look like it was the same place. This, this is the uh, same area where it was. Went back later. Or earlier. That's actually from earlier. Stop that. This doesn't look the same to me. Because you, you look at there, see that uh, right in that top right corner of the one on the left there, where it looks like kind of curve the branch curves to the right, and I don't know if it's busted off or what. I don't see that kind of structure at all over here on the left side. This doesn't look like the same spot. So, I mean, there's like something there that looks similar. Maybe he zoomed in further on the one on the, okay, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is where he zoomed in further and he's cut off the, the like everything on the, on the right side, in the right fifth of the picture is gone. On the right side there. That's all. That's the only way these are the same place because there, there's so much here that doesn't look the same. So I don't know, man. Uh, Pat says, I do what I want. MAGA freedom. Mr. Lee says, Lockbridge, show the teeth, man. We show, I showed the teeth earlier. What's talk, Yeah, you're showing your... What the hell? Uh, Pat says, uh, faces the woods. Same damn bullshit as Kerry Arnold. Come on, guys. What the fuck? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. There's nothing conclusive here, Mr. Lee. He could have faked that. Like, these people that have all these experiences, and he's, like he says, he's got this branch with fingernail dug in, apparently. That's what I was looking for a while ago. But, um, where, 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 why is he never able to get genetic evidence? Want to play chess? You guys gonna throw it down? Mr. Lee says it's the same place Lockbeard. I have observed video. I don't think it's. I don't think. I think he very. It, it it could be, or he could have faked it. Either way, we have no way of knowing one way or the other. Really, we really don't. But he's playing this this infrasound narrative, and. You know, th this is just like structures, right? Somebody suggested it, and blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, it's blown up into this whole fucking thing. And there is there is really no reason to think that there's all this forest language crap going on with the Sasquatch. There's no, there's zero, zero damn proof. So, but peop there's, the people have heard about that and are like, oh, this sounds great. I like it. And I, it feeds into my fantasy and... They jumped on board and, you know, chess board says you don't drink alcohol. Mr. Hughes here. Welcome. Um, um, who said that? Mr. Lee. Who said that? That Does he think that? Because I haven't really been paying much attention to Scott Carpenter. <clears throat> if he says there are fallen angels, I'm, I'm fucking done. 
because that's just some more that's just another ridiculous bunch of bullshit there these are just if they're real they're just an undiscovered type of human that lives in the woods that's it there's no goddamn magic you got to prove the magic stuff right like for example the remote viewing object that has been designated Lockbeard 2 as far as I know, nobody's remote viewed it. Where's Jessica Jones to tell me? Jessica Jones says it's too stressful. Let me get let me get this off screen. Jessica Jones says it's too stressful to remote view, so she doesn't remote view for individuals, but she'll go over there on the Texas front porch channel of bullshit and remote view into the past to see that a Sasquatch and her child were murdered and she can, and she psychically talked to the Bigfoot <laughs> in the past and somehow like, okay, th that's gotta be, that's gotta be pretty goddamn stressful. If she really did that. Right. I'm sorry. Jessica Jones only remotes views shit that you can't back check period. She only remote views shit. That you can't fact check. So you can't prove. That she's full of shit. Therefore we must assume. She's full of shit. Because she can't. She will not prove. That she can do this. By remote viewing something we can fact check. Like. Remote viewing. The object that has been designated. Lockbeard dash 2. She, she never did Lockbeard dash 1. Um, some people think that she can't that they canceled the interview with Daily Dan with uh, Bigfoot Michigan Rob because they knew because he said here that he was going to ask about that. I don't know, but it's possible. <clears throat> Any of these people don't like me saying this shit. Look, you got to decide. Are you on the side of the bullshit or are you on the side that's looking for the truth? Because, you know, we're two different groups here. Don't tell me, oh, you're creating division, blah, blah. There is no division. You are a completely different community than I am. You are a community of bullshit. <laughs> and I'm in a community that's looking for the truth. Of all these paranormal phenomena, Bigfoot, aliens, UFOs, ghosts, remote viewing, psychics, all of that. So don't tell me I'm creating division. I'm not creating division. There is no division to be created. I am on the side of logic and 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 uh, objective reasoning. Um, <laughs> a lot of people hate critical thinking. <laughs> Ooh, it's a scary word. It's a scary phrase for some people lately. Critical thinking. Oh my God, it's horrible. Oh, the humanity. I'm not creating division. There's no division to be had. You guys are in a Totally different community of bullshit. Way to fuck over here. Way to fuck over here. Or maybe it's over there. You're somewhere. You're everywhere. You motherfuckers everywhere. Community of bullshit. I'm not creating division in the community of, the, of, of logic and wisdom and objective reasoning. Looking for the actual truth of these things. And just because I demand you actually show proof of shit. You get, oh, well, no, you can't, no, you can't do that. You... You can't, you're going to scare people from telling their stories. We got plenty of stories. Stories ain't getting us nowhere. We've got tons of stories. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, Kerry Arnold's going to be worried because he needs new people to tell stories all the time on his channel because that's how his channel operates. That's the only way he can survive. He can't, he can't do uh, what those of us on this, in this other community over here, this, this, this logical community that are actually looking for the truth. Because that requires intellect. <laughs> that requires you not to be a fucking liar. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you know, hopefully that was clear there. Hopefully that's uh, very fucking clear. But, um, yeah, falling angels, Mr. Lee. I mean, someone's got to prove that angels are even fucking real. Um, mind speak. Someone has got to prove that mind speak is a real thing. Separate from Bigfoot. You know. But because these people that lie about Bigfoot, 
figure, well, I can just throw any any kind of bullshit to make it interesting. I'll just go ahead and throw in mind speak, and it won't matter because the whole fucking thing is a lie anyway. Uh, portals. Prove that portals exist aside from Bigfoot. Forget Bigfoot. Do portals exist at all? <sighs> Cloaking. Just because uh, some third generation tracker blacked out momentarily and didn't see the Sasquatch duck into the bushes doesn't mean that Sasquatch cloaks just because he said so. I'm a third generation tracker. And I saw that. No, no. You probably saw it. You had a moment of shock. You blacked out for a moment. And you just don't remember that 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 brief moment when that Sasquatch ducked into the bushes and hid. Assuming you actually saw Sasquatch and you ain't lying about the whole fucking thing. But since you blocked everybody, I kind of want to lean towards that, that you're lying because you blocked everybody. Once people started questioning, and a lot of people weren't even being too harsh about it, you know, and you start, but you blocked them because probably full of shit. You, you can't stand the criticism. You cannot withstand um, scrutiny. So you scampered off and hid behind the block that's what you do i mean we still see you i still see you you know i can jump on the other device here and on you know incognito to see what you say but uh, i don't really fucking care because you blocked me i know that you have nothing interesting or that's true to tell me that i need to see you have nothing to offer you blocked me, which basically proved to me you're full of shit. You know, a little bit of a leap there, but if you had nothing to hide, why you got to block? Why are you hiding? You know, you've been perfectly willing to talk before. What happened? No evidence of Nephilim, Mr. Lee. It's... It's a religious, it's a religion thing, Mr. Lee. It's not even like until someone can prove that there were ever Nephilim to start with, it's not even worth talking about in the subject of Bigfoot. It, it just, there, that's part of someone's religion and they want to tie it into their religion to legitimize um, Bigfoot as, as part of their, it, they got to make it, um, I'm losing the word I'm trying to use there. They got to reconcile it with the religion. They got they got to make anything that's they that's that they perceive as real in the world. They got to somehow make it tie into their religion to explain it. Otherwise, it's a threat to their religious beliefs. Little, little kill little Kilroy says Scott Carpenter catapulted me off his channel because I told him there is treatment available for schizophrenia. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> uh, Angel says, the one on the right has three straight trunks. The one on the left doesn't. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I, it might be. Maybe he zoomed in closer. He needs to be more careful. Like when I did uh, some compare, side by side compar comparisons of some, some, some photos that were like when I did the LIB thing where I showed you guys where lib stole screenshots out of someone else's videos and claimed them to be his i don't know if everybody remembers that i proved it and then he lied about it and then he had that that larry hart guy account show up to defend him and or, or to claim that he was he fucking lied he's a liar and he's a thief lib long island bigfoot i'll say it again i proved it right here liar and thief both any any so whatever but um i anyway when i i made sure that the pictures lined up you know if i, I had to trim off part of this one and blah 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 to, to so you were comparing you know apples to apples because if you had you know all the extra stuff or you're zoomed out further and stuff like that it, it makes it where people can't really see you need to make it easy for people to see but what what i was really trying to show people is this is the same shot there's no way no way absolutely if you saw that because it was on that show you can go back and see there was no way that someone came back a different day and took that same picture 
that was a frame out of that video. So, anyway, he needs to be better about that if he's going to do, you know, compare side by side comparisons. It needs to be whichever one's zoomed out further needs to be trimmed down to show the the same region, and so people can see. Uh, 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 Pat says, "Just for a challenge, my intelligence, uh, LR in real life, motherfucker. You won't. Oh, come on, fellas." Don't fight. Marsha Rigsby's here. Says, call him, call him out, Captain Vault. Marsha Rigsby's new name here. Welcome. Uh, Chessboard says, uh, the streets ask, well, what the hell? What's going on with you guys? Why are you fighting? Don't fight. Gary says, another way of saying we all being fooled. Shalee says, Mr. U says, LOL, Lockbeard. What'd I say? Did I say something funny? I'm like seven minutes behind. Mr. Lee says, Lockbeard, I'm with you, man. Blue Eyed Northern says, Preach it, Lockbeard. Community can't be both. That's right. Yeah. yeah it's been a long time, Blue Eyed Northern. Where you been? Mr. Lee says, Lockbeard, you have seen Sasquatch, though. I don't know for sure. I'm not prepared to say for sure that the because I was so young, I'm not sure what the hell I saw. I just know it wasn't a cow or horse or anything normal that should have been there, and it was just too fucking big to be even a black bear. So I, you know, it was a long time ago. I don't remember the head on the thing. I don't remember the head. It's like it had its head turned away from me because I'm looking from. You know this direction kind of back from the rear the rear right of this thing uh, at an angle so i don't know like my my theory is is that it was a sasquatch that had come up to that barn to steal feed or something and i came out unexpected because normally people wouldn't be just coming out at that time it was at night and uh so Maybe the Sasquatch decided to pretend it was a farm animal and walk away on all fours because it was on all fours. But it was weird because it was like the legs were all the legs were really long. And then um, for for like what a normal farm animal would be. And it was too it was hairy, longer hair. And but and the head was like it was keeping its head turned away. So I couldn't see its head. So I, I think I, I don't know. I don't know any of this for sure. It's such an old, old memory. Uh, it, fuck, I don't know. So I don't even count. Don't even count that as a, as a, as any any kind of useful sighting or anything. And then the other time I thought I had, I might have had an encounter, but I just had a feeling I was being watched, and and I decided to turn and leave because I didn't know, didn't know what it was. I listen every week, busy cooking dinner and all. My, made keto strawberry shortcake. Hey, awesome. Um, Quick Witty's here says, uh, no longer welcome on the Mo, Mo Beyond Sims channel. Oh, me? No, I haven't. No, I haven't been told I'm not welcome or anything like that. Um, I just haven't been. Um, Showing up to the chat. <clears throat> I think it's just best that I don't show up to the chat. I, I've been watching like like you know typically about half the show, but um, yeah. But don't think that. Don't think I've been like banned or anything, nothing like that. As far as I know, I mean maybe I have been. I just because but because I haven't tried chatting. But, uh, <laughs> but no, as far, as far as I know, I haven't been banned or blocked or anything. Little Kelroy says, all you need is a red circle to see a Sasquatch. Yeah. Yeah. He's full of shit, Mr. Lee. He is full of shit. I proved it. Well, I didn't prove it. Other people proved it. And, and it was like flung right up wide open on on youtube and i, I you know i wasn't even i wasn't aware of it somebody else told me about it so 
Um, always looking for those those uh, those heads up, by the way, because you know there are so many fucking Bigfoot channels out there. And um, why in the hell? I have a little something was jumping on me over here. Mr. Lee, that's the your dinner. That's keto, isn't it? This thing was jumping on me on the side here. What the hell? Mr. Lee says, Carrie, I wish he would not have sacked me. I would have remained loyal. Never mind. Yeah. Mr. Lee says, I, I always try to remain neutral, getting difficult. Well, it is, Mr. Lee, because, well, like I said, there's, it's, there's a lot of bullshit channels out there, man. They're pushing a bunch of bullshit, and they try to act like they're really looking, but they're not. So, yeah. It's just going to, it's going to be hard. You, you can't, you can't be, it's hard to be neutral. It really is. Everybody saying hello. Uh, Mr. Lee says, Lockbeer, always welcome on Moog Show. Of course, man. Well, thank you, Mr. Lee. Quick way he says, Mr. Lee, I used to watch now. It's just the same old, they need a new story and that didn't last very long. Oh, it's not a cricket, Mr. Lee. It's a it's a grasshopper. Having a hard time. What the hell? There we go. Like something was jumping, something was climbing on me, and I was like, "What in the hell is going on?" There's your cryptid right there. Is it going to clear up better? I guess not. Anyway, get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Little pricky feet, yeah. <clears throat> Let me uh, jump back on this, I guess. One more time. I'm trying to find the... There it is. When I went over to the island, I actually found this... this was the limb that went in front across of his chest and you can see where the two fingernails and there's a seven foot mark but you can see where the you, if you look here you can see there's one and there's two you can actually see the two fingers uh, I get the balls there we go so there's the fingers right there and right there is where they cut into the tree line. So there you go. Thought I'd do that real Fish bait says chest for it, yeah. Jen says grasshopper, not grasshopper. Speaking of where's grass, I don't know where grass is. Sandra says, oh, my God, Lockbeard, what a sight. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Lee says, Sandra, I never see that. You never see grasshoppers? You all not have grasshoppers over there? You have crickets? You mentioned crickets. So I, mean, I figured that's why it looks more like a cricket. Well, I mean, crickets are very similar to grasshoppers, but.
Mr. Lee says, no, 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 I don't believe that. No. You don't believe what? What do you don't, what don't you believe, Mr. Lee? Gary says, suppose that alien grasshopper was saying, take me to Mr. Lee 3 po <clears throat> it might have been, but it's a long, it's a long way to the UK. That grasshopper is gonna die of old age before it gets there. Nail prints in the tree. You don't believe those are nail prints? They seem awful straight. Which, I mean, it could be, but why is it why is it digging its nails into the tree? Uh, but anyway, it, regardless, um, if I see if I see something like that and I go there and I really believe this is where a Sasquatch has dug its fingers in, I'm wrapping that branch and sawing it off and taking it with me. Now, maybe it's a hard-to-get-to place, and he could argue, well, he didn't have a saw and all that stuff. But still, um, there's potential evidence there. And if he's all about proving these things are real, he needs to take that, take that evidence. So, I don't know, Mr. Lee. I think your boy Scott Carpenter might be scamming us all. Uh, there. there. Well, Mr. Lee wanted to see the teeth again, I guess. Huh. Angel says they might be from a nail, but not fingernails. Looks like gouged. Yeah. Now, is everybody seeing what I'm seeing as far as, because it looks like, this thing looks like a freaking Cyclops. You think it's good evidence? I don't think it's good evidence. This is, uh, at best, inconclusive. At worst, it's straight up hoax, fraud, faked. Why is the eyeball directly above the center of the mouth? I mean, I think that's supposed to be the eye, right? Why is the eye directly above the mouth like that? I mean, it looks like it. it that's what I'm seeing. But Joe says, periodolia. Yeah. The teeth, like the teeth, the way they show up in the video, I mean, I would say pareidolia, but I think he legit had to have, like, had someone in the bushes to fake this, or he did some some uh, CGI magic on the video or something to to do this. Because it, it, it isn't just a picture. It's a video. So I think he, I think he might, like I think Scott Carpenter might be scamming people here. But um, Angel says the mouth teeth are in better focus than the eye. I guess I don't know. I mean, this is it's just weird. It looks like the eye is directly above the mouth, in the center, as if this is a cyclops or some shit. 
Um, I think he faked this probably, but can't really prove that. Face is quarter turned. Yeah, but the teeth are straight. Like if his face was turned, the teeth would be turned sideways too. Angel says uh, to Joe, hi. <laughs> Mr. Lee says, Joe, no man. Mr. Lee loves this. He thinks this is like real evidence. Sandra says hi to Joe. I don't think there's anything to be scared of, Mr. Lee. I think he is pushing the the infrasound narrative. I don't know if Joe, Joe, I don't know if you're if like you, if you just rolled in or if you're aware of this. Scott Carpenter said that this video here, um, he don't remember taking the video because he says the Sasquatch's mouth is like this because that's it's making infrasound. And that he actually had picked that up with his his uh, mic, the infrasound, and that the Sasquatch made him forget that he took the video and made him leave by making infrasound. Looks like Elvis is here. <laughs> Finding the trackways here. He says, Sorry, Mr. Lee, no photo, no video is good evidence. Yeah, it just isn't. This could be faked. There could be someone there in the mask. It could be CGI. Um, it's a pretty extraordinary claim because, again, someone's got to prove to me that infrasound can be used to make someone completely forget that they were that they were there. Like you got to prove that. Prove infrasound can do that. Forget the Bigfoot part of it. Prove infrasound can do that because I don't know that it can, but. Uh, it can make you feel uneasy. It can spook you. But as far as making you actually forget that you were there, forgetting that you took a video, Gary says, uh, it looks like a double take, something smaller by its mouth. Like, wow, man. Mr. Lee says, finding trackway. So everyone says, but I've seen some good pictures, dude. Joe says, it doesn't matter what it is. That would never convince anyone logical that Bigfoot exists. Yeah, it just isn't. It's not. It's not uh, evidence, Mr. Lee. It. It. Um, it it's not adequate at all. It, if you're going to take video like this, like it needs to be clear for it to be anything meaningful to people. And even then, they can still question it as just a good costume. Just a good costume. So. You know, these people that they need to stop focusing so much on, you know, video, video, video and, and physical evidence. Get physical evidence. Physical evidence is what we need. Not another blurry video. It just it, it's not going to prove anything. You know, we got plenty of stories. You know, people, like I said earlier, telling story because I get I keep, you still get these people that get all bent. And they're like, oh, my gosh, if you. If you if you challenge anyone about their story, you're going to spook people from telling their story. So, I, I don't need any more stories. Stories aren't aren't the evidence that will prove anything. Those people who are brave enough to tell their story, let them tell their story. Those people that are not, let them not. You know, if they don't want to face scrutiny, fine. I don't need. A new person telling stories every week like Kerry Arnold does to keep his channel rolling, fulfilling people's fantasies over there at his bullshit Odyssey channel. I don't need that. I'm not interested in in new stories. I I'm I, I'm interested as long as it's not is it is it seems like a pretty believable story. You know, because you, you get another Matthew Johnson rolling here talking about Bigfoot's being aliens from another planet that he had to help them get the rest of their people here because he had to operate the portal. <laughs> that fucking nut. Well, he, he may be brain damaged, so probably shouldn't laugh at him too much, but 
you know, ridiculous claims. There's too many. There's most of the stories out there are ridiculous claims. Most of the shit that how to hunt over there, Steve Ishtal reads, it are ridiculous claims. Not to say that something ridiculous may turn out to be the truth, but damn it, you've got to come up with some goddamn it good evidence to to support those kind of stories and and um i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it joe says oh well when you explain it like that who who explained what was it me Mr. Lee says, I've never been zapped before, not my not to my recollection. Well, I don't I don't th I don't know that I necessarily believe this zap thing. Cause they're, they're you know, what the hell's that? Is it like big the Bigfoot's Jedi mind trick? What is it? Jen says if you back it up to before the teeth part looks mask like. <laughs> Chessboard says, Mr. Lee, pee on an electric fence, experience life. Angel says, Jen, the cheek and eyes on in this one looks like a mask, like. Jen says, yeah, you go up from the teeth around that cheekbone to the eye socket. I don't know. That's awfully symmetrical. Suppose it's some kind of way. Game Boy's here. He says, can anyone else see this facing both ways? Huh, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Level out, level out, come on! Mr. Lee, is your boyfriend still here? Trackway says, even if I catch a video or photo executed forensic evaluation of the sighting site, provide supporting every evidence, I guess you mean, I'd still need another third party of reputation to validate the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Science. You need science. Mr. Lee says, I don't mind people telling their story. I dislike other people telling your story for you. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, you made the evidence there. Tim Boy's here. Yeah, Tim Boy is here. Joe says, Tim Boy, that's a good indication of pareidolia when people can look at the same thing and see, di see something different. Yeah. So, I don't know. It could be pareidolia, but I think Scott Carpenter may have actually just totally like fabricated that that video that's definitely a possibility that's why it's not evidence of anything at, at best it's inconclusive at worst it's a straight up hoax so sorry mr lee sander hello this is timmy boy mr lee says it's me and tom yeah it's your boyfriend mr lee And and there's the thing right there. Lil Kilroy says Scott Carpenter is all about selling books. Yeah. So he's got to play into whatever people are liking. Like people, people they're, he's playing onto the crowd of people that have jumped on board with infrasound without, I, best I could tell, zero evidence that Bigfoot uses infrasound. Zero. zero. Nobody's got, you got some claims and that's it. Well, that that's not enough, it, uh, you know, just not enough. But it's become its whole little niche now in the Bigfoot uh, uh, business is the infrasound thing because a lot of people have heard about that and it sounds legit to them, right? So many things sound legit to people and they they fall for it, like every fucking thing the government tells you everything 
everything the government tells you. So if they tell you, if they tell you there's a, there's a, they don't know, like the UFO thing, like, oh, well, we, they finally admit they're there, right? But they're like, well, yeah, but we don't know what they are. Well, bullshit. They know exactly what the fuck they are. They're lying. Guaranteed. Can't prove that, but if the government says it, it's almost 100% certainty it's a fucking lie. Um, anyone that analyzes anything they say, pretty much, most anything they say, it's a lie, you know? You look at anthropogenic global warming. If you actually step back, just, just, just get a fresh perspective and come back at it and look at the actual evidence, you will see anthropogenic global warming is pretty much complete bullshit and it's a scam to give the government more money and power that's it florida was supposed to be completely gone by now they promised me that shit and if that 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 place is still there damn it <laughs> but i bet jay fritz is glad it's still there though right um the 2020 fraud virus, there's still people convinced. There's still people convinced. And it's hard to break them out of that because they, like, look, look, um, I'm kind of trying to put together a little, uh, well, it's a big video. It's a big video. It's going to take a while to do. I'm hoping Mr. Lee helps a little bit with it. And um, Donald, I hope he helps a little bit with it, maybe. And, um, to try and smooth some shit over and clear some stuff up. And there's some scenes in there that I'm applying to the subject that the video is about, but those scenes also apply to the supposed pandemic. Okay. You convince people they will have certain symptoms. They'll have those symptoms, the physical, it's a real thing. Uh, um, where people will develop the, the symptoms if they're convinced they'll have the symptoms. You just, you just got to convince them. It's not really hard. And the government, being in control of the media, can do that pretty easily. And they did it expertly in 2020. And so you still got people believing it now and experiencing symptoms that they, they think, oh, it's just got to be this because it can't be anything else and blah, 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 blah. Well, it could be psychosomatic. It could be straight up. You were convinced you were going to get those symptoms and you gave yourself those symptoms. End of story. Um, trying to see if maybe I'm going to find a little clip here to kind of, hopefully I can do this. Where's it at? Where's it at? Just bear with me for a minute. All right, I'm going to give you a little clip. Mr. Lee, this is something that's going to be in the the video I'm talking about. I'm being a little cryptic about it cuz I don't want to I don't want everybody to know everything about this just yet. But what about we look at from Yeah, we'll look at it from right here, I think. I got to, I got to, hold on a second. I got to fix something here. Having some technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm 
might end up showing too much of this. I don't know, but who cares? Uh, Mr. Lee says, uh, Little Cobra never bought a Scott Carpenter book when my girlfriend bought me Steve Ishtal book, and it's unreadable. I can't read that shit, man. So many mistakes. Trackway says, I've never read Scott Carpenter book, but I did spend the night at a holiday. <laughs> and Joe says, The man claims they are something from a book he can't even prove is true. Yeah, that's how we do it. Let me back up a claim with another claim I can't prove. Bullshit. Absolutely. Gary says, I'll write a book. First line we'll read. His name is Argo. <laughs> oh, shit. Pay attention to the little woman. Have fun, everyone. Mr. Lee says, uh, life trackway. Not so bad that Holiday Inn. Have a good night, Joe, says Angel. Trackway says, where was that Holiday Inn? Minneapolis? I think it was... Yes, man, luck fella. All right, Mr. Lee. I'm going to try and show this. I'll try to. Damn it. So many steps to do anything. Son of a bitch. Use, I use Canva for some of my. Because different things have different functions and work better for different things. And so. I'm using Canva to do some stuff with these clips here. But uh, anyway, Mr. Lee, hopefully you play a part in this little project here. But here's some clips from uh, the TV show House MD when he has gotten um, he, him and his boss there next to him are doctors and they're on a plane where there has been an outbreak and they're trying to figure out what everybody's sick with. So you're not going to really get the full story here, but the important thing is what he's going to say at the end. So it's really not all the details aren't necessarily important, but hold on. And thrombosis. She gets terrible poisoning. I had to pause it there for a second. Um, I don't know how well this is going to work. I will well, do it, and you y'all tell me if it comes through very well or what. Onset toxin symptoms, symptoms include all of the all of the above. Things are sick, it makes you sick. If you all just calm down, your symptoms will soon go. 
<clears throat> there's more to the story and um uh that i include i'm going to include in this deal here and uh because it's interesting because there's something else about the story that kind of uh, vaguely correlates with what we're talking about in that video and uh but you know because they're they, they got the idea that they would get these symptoms from one patient who actually had real symptoms of something and they had to figure out what it was and you know, if you ever watched house nd you know he's they're they keep trying these different stuff trying to figure out what it is because it's something hard to figure out and eventually at the end they figure it out so he did eventually at the end figure it out and but it wasn't any of the first few guesses that he had what that guy had but um basically that what happened in 2020 you guys were told you were getting certain thing you were told you were gonna get certain symptoms some of you got sick not everybody got sick right some people because it doesn't work on everybody but a lot of people you put the idea in the head that they're going to get sick and that if they're going to get certain symptoms they will experience those symptoms and like dr house said to those people on the plane it may be embarrassing you may not you may be embarrassed to admit that you could uh, be convinced like that, that experience symptoms when, when you really weren't, you really didn't, you will, we wouldn't have had that symptom otherwise, other than you were mentally convinced that you would have that symptom. It's a very real thing. And um, it happens all the time. And it happens to a lot of people interested in the Bigfoot subject because they are primed to think that they're going to see something and then they do. And sometimes there'll be one person that's causing the ideas to be put in the heads of the other persons that are with them, if there's other persons with them. So you got you to look at that. You got to have like, so when you're getting someone's account and they're talking about and it's like multiple people. Well, are you getting an honest account of what was said by who? And, you know, why certain people thought they were experiencing certain things. Well, if you really get an honest account of what happened, um, a lot of times um, there is one person that's kind of and maybe sometimes they don't know they're doing it like they they're just they're just their fears are popping up and they're speaking them aloud. And then it gets the other people thinking the same things going on. So you're over here saying, oh, it's demon. And then these people over here thinking, oh, my God, it must be a demon. And next thing you know, you got a mass hysteria event with but just a few people. Um, yeah. And then so then those people are out here in the paranormal space telling their story. And a bunch of people are like, well, these seem pretty credible people. And they may very well be pretty credible people, but they were fooled sometimes. And they don't. They don't. They honestly believe they saw what they think they saw, and and then a lot of times they get mad if you try to tell them, "No, oh, you 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 could have fooled. Like you really could have been fooled." They don't like it. They get they get mad. It's human nature, you know. They'll get mad. Um, but you have to be if you're, it, you know, if you're an objective person, if you're a logical person, you must always be willing to accept the more logical conclusions the application of occam's razor the simplest explanation very often is the truth and sometimes the simplest explanation isn't that fucking demons jumped out at you and sometimes it's just that you got spooked and your mind was playing tricks on you and that's it it happens. It happens. Mr. Lee says it's Jeeves. Marsha says, let me rephrase. Call Vault out, Captain Lockbeard. Oh, oh, gotcha. <clears throat> well, I mean, we've said a lot of stuff about Vault because he was saying stuff about us and, and, um, that last video, well, well, he may have made new videos that mentioned me and Donald. I don't know. Um, I've kind of lost interest, basically, but I mentioned that last video because he managed to make a video 
talking about me and Donald without making one death threat. It was, um, I, I call it a, a win. Um, I have managed to, to train Volt not to make death threats on his videos anymore. Isn't that wonderful? So, um, yeah, I call that, I call that a win. I, my work here is done. And, um, and yeah. So I, 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 uh, and that's why, this is what this clip's about right here. Um, the fact that I've been able to train, I've trained Vault not to make death threats on his videos, and I trained Kerry Arnold to be a carnivore. I'm his father. He comes to me for advices. Yep. Not biological, obviously. Um, but uh, just the same. I am their daddy. Mr. Lee says, I cannot take Jeeves seriously as an American actor. No luck, Bird. Do you ever watch Jeeves and Wooster? No, I haven't. Back to packing. Thank you for the distractions, Trekway. See you later, Trekway. Jeeves and Wooster. Drake's here. He says, hello, 3PO and Lockbeard. Welcome, Drake. Mr. Lee says, I never had that many people around me to have mass hysteria. Yeah, but I mean, mass hysteria, you don't, you don't have to be, you know, dozens of people, or hundreds of people. It could, it could happen just between two people where one person feeds into a, 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 a reaction from the other person where they are start to believe things that aren't real or start to behave in a way like some of the mass hysteria events in history are really, really weird. Like, like, like there was these, uh, nuns, like one nun just started meowing one day. Right. And then other nuns started meowing and then it, some, and it spread to other convents and, uh, and different countries. And there was even cases of nuns biting each other. Um, they started acting like a bunch of fucking cats. It's a mass hysteria event. It's it's look it up. It's in history. It's um, a real thing. Um, so this mass hysteria occurs because of like stressful situations and stuff like that. And um, so if you think about it, um, back in those days, a lot of times, a lot of these nuns were kind of pushed into it as little girls. They were forced to do this thing. They don't want to do it. They don't want to be there. They were kind of forced into it. And what's worse is some really weird shit has happened in the Catholic Church, as we all know. So who knows what kind of abuses a lot of these women suffered for centuries in the Catholic Church. Um, you know, most people think about the abuses of the altar boys, right? Yeah. You don't think there's been abuses of the women as well? Yeah. And um, so... There very likely could be a lot of stress for a lot of the nuns back then, and that pro possibly led to this mass hysteria event. There's been other cases like where the laughing epidemic, where these kids start, this kids started laughing, and other kids started laughing, and they just couldn't stop, and eventually had to close down a bunch of different schools because they couldn't hold school. The kids just were laughing and wouldn't stop. You know, they, they, they. They were just compulsively laughing. So there's been a lot of cases of mass hysteria that are documented. It's a real thing. And and so it doesn't have to be something quite as absurd as some of that stuff. It could be someone goes into a situation thinking they're going to see something. And then they see it. So they've been primed. And their mind plays that trick on them. And then they say to other people that are with them, um, this thing, it's fucking there. And then they start saying they see it. And then it just grows because you got a mass hysteria event. Well, 2020, the virus was definitely fucking that. It was definitely done on purpose because you had the government up there doing it, the media up there doing it. You know, you would think they'd be trying to de-escalate panic, but instead they were feeding the fuck out of that shit. 
They were feeding the fuck out of shit. And as a result, some people did actually get sick when they really didn't have anything at all. And some percentage of those people actually died, which means the government fucking murdered them and the media helped them. Now, I challenge anyone to prove, you know, that the, that the, that the thing was real. And I don't think anyone's going to be able to provide any fucking evidence that this germ was real. Even the CDC could not, like they said, we haven't been able to isolate this virus. And yet they went ahead and declared the pandemic anyway. Okay, you haven't proven there's a virus, but you're going to declare a pandemic anyway. You showed us videos of people dead on the streets. There's no one dead on the streets. You showed us videos of hospitals packed out and going wild. And yet you got other people going down to these hospitals and seeing that they're like practically closed. There's no one there. There's tents here. There's nothing going on. That evidence is out there. And and they, they've been called out. But there's just some people have been convinced and you just can't get them out of their head. They they believe the news. They believe the government. And um, they didn't go and see for themselves that something's wrong. And even when it looks like there isn't something wrong, like the, that, 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 that what they're saying is the truth, you need to dig deeper. Because sometimes it looks that way, but it isn't. <laughs> Mr. Lee says, Dolph is an ugly SLB. Mr. Lee says, Kerry has become a douchebag. You better not do that, Lockbeer. Turn into a douchebag? Didn't I start out with the first video being a douchebag? I thought that was my whole thing. Being a complete asshole. I must be slacking. You came upon a demon ghost, you would run home and hide under your bed. Ha ha ha. Um, Prove to me that demon ghosts are real. Gary, um, I think it goes to real. I just, um, I don't see any reason to be afraid of something that is not part of the physical world. And especially since you should, even if it does have some, some limited ability to interact with the physical world, you have the ability to stop it. You just simply have to realize, you know, because again, this is the same thing, right? Where you believe this thing can hurt you. And therefore, that allows it to hurt you. It's just psychology. So, you know, you just got to tell it, hey, get the fuck out. You can't do nothing to me. Get the hell out if you encounter something like that. It's no big deal. Mr. Lee says, I'm convinced the queen has her reptilian finger in it all. Mr. Lee, you and your reptilian queen... Drake's battery's dead. He says bye, y'all. So, Mr. Lee. So, you know, you know Hugh Laurie as a different character over there. Did you ever watch the house, the uh, house MD? Because I used to watch that a lot. I really liked House MD. I mean, there were some episodes that can be criticized, as you know, but I didn't really, that, or I just didn't really like them. But for the most part, the show was uh, pretty damn good. But um, anyway, I was using him to demonstrate a couple of things, talk about a certain couple of things that have to do with the thing that the, I don't know if we can call it a documentary or not, but I guess we can. <clears throat> And that, Mr. Lee, is why you need to show, we just need a short little bit of video from you. That would be really fucking awesome. Jeeves and Wooster, fantastic. Never even heard of it, Mr. Lee. So that's, that's a Hugh Laurie TV show. I assume, because you're calling him 
You're, you're either calling him Jeeves or you're calling him Wooster, I guess. It's a show about two people, I suppose. Need to stop sharing that. I know you guys don't see it, but it's still plugged into the... Well, initially, I don't... Man, I'm... You gotta understand. There's there are a ton of shows that that would be way higher on my list of wish I could watch. You know, but I just ain't got time to do that shit to watch like shows anymore. Really, I got other shit to do. One of them is is this. Like this takes some time. And um, that clip, of, uh, that clip of house, that 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 video that that's going to be part of, which I don't know how long it's going to be. It may be like an hour long kind of documentary type thing. But I definitely think there's a part where you need to be, that you need to be in there giving a response about a certain thing. I don't want to say too much publicly, though. <laughs> but I am kind of teasing everybody. Now they're going to be wondering, what the fuck's he talking about? What's he doing? So rock the boat a little bit, maybe. Mr. Lee says, yes, you must watch Lock the No, 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 no. Jeeves and Wooster, he says. Mr. Lee, I don't know if we need to. I, I really don't need to watch Jeeves and Wooster. We gotta, we gotta make fun of people like Scott Carpenter, Carrie, and Mister Duffy eighty one, and freaking uh, third generation tracker and Long Island bullshit, and uh, so on and so forth. Dark, dark sewage, D to D DOS. All these people that are scamming everybody or making shit up or whatever the hell they're doing. Anybody got actual proof of Dogman yet? Any of you fuckers? Nope. Nope. No proof of Dogman? I wonder why. I wonder why. When does this show happen, Mr. Lee? It looks he looks awful young in this clip I'm looking at. Looks like it's like it's from the nineteen thirties or some shit. Is that what is that when it, it it's uh from Gary says going on a snack break be back shortly sorta of speaking uh, we'll probably be done by the time we get back uh, I don't think either one is real Mr. Lee <laughs> I don't think either one is a real thing. <clears throat> no one's been able to prove Dick for evidence. Sasquatch, Wizard, and Iron Decks. Happy Labor Day weekend, Lockbeard, and the Bigfoot family. You too, Wizard. You too. How is a little chap this morning? 
distressingly willful. willful. Yeah. Oh, well, 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 Yep, never heard of it, Mr. Lee. That must be some UK stuff going on right there. Looks like it when those guys were a lot younger. That, that must be an old TV show. Chessboard says, everybody have a great holiday weekend and blessings. You too, Chessboard. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Lee, what are you subjecting us to here? What is this nonsense? Is there any Bigfoot in this TV show? <coughs> Shall I lay out our hands to the check suit, suit, sir, for the journey? The journey? What journey? What journey? To London, to London, sir. London, sir. Lady, Wickham Lady Wickham has already asked, asked, asked Mr. Fungi to, to leave. What's to, to leave? During, During the night, night sir, when, when Professor, Professor and Madonna, Madonna Cludge were occupying, occupying your bed, he entered their room and pierced their hot water bottle with a sharp, sharp implement. Extraordinary coincidence, Jeeves. The concatenation of circumstances you described is not entirely unforeseen, sir. It appears, it appears that, he that he received the suggestion from the young lady. From, from Miss Wickham? From Miss Wickham? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You mean? You mean? At the same time? At the same time? That she was putting me, she up, was putting me up to the scheme of puncturing Barmy's hot water, 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 water bottle? She was tipping Barmy off to puncturing mine? Because she's a young lady with a keen sense of humour, you're cold, You're cold, sir. sir? Just shivering, shivering Jeeves. The occurrence, the occurrence is, if I may take, I may the, take the liberty of saying so, sir, sir, may perhaps may lend colour to the view which I put forward yesterday. Miss Wickham, that Miss Wickham, there are many respects to a charming, charming young, young lady. lady. Say, say no more, Jeeves. Jeeves. Love, Love is, dead. is dead. Very good. good. Y'all can thank Mr. Lee for this shit. <laughs> Little Lil Kilroy says, what about douche on uh, World Bigfoot Radio? Yeah, man, he is full of shit. Completely full of shit. I mean, we haven't, we haven't got any, we haven't got adequate evidence to prove Sasquatch even exists at all. And he's like telling us about these different kinds of Sasquatch and the characteristics of each and how they behave and blah, 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 blah. Boy, he he sure has all the goddamn answers. Where's the goddamn evidence, Duke? I don't think he's going to come up with any because he's clearly full of shit. Absolutely full of shit. Mr. Lee subjecting us to Wooster and Jeeves or Jeeves and Wooster, whichever it is. Some old show. <clears throat> Hopefully I can find time to work on the, that video there. It's going to take it. Like I definitely see how you know, you ever look at the credits of a movie? <laughs> There's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of shit to do. So even something like this, like you need, you need, like you kind of need a crew really to do anything right. But I ain't got one, so whatever. Oh, you know who he means, Mr. Lee? He means Duke. Duke of bullshit. World bullshit radio.
Well, I think we wore it out. Thank you all for coming. Um, see, we were missing. Uh, there was no, no, no Papa Craig here tonight, but. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh, can we try the big silver one again? Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good. Duke Sullivan, World Bigfoot Radio, Super Deuce Ship. No, Mr. Lee. No, Mr. Lee. You know who he's talking about. No, Mr. Lee. See you there, team boy. We're going to shut her down, too. Thank you all for coming. See ya. See ya next time. But first, first we go out. I think we, I think we need some, we need some transformers. We need some transformers. I'll take you all alive.